Today I'm taking a look at the Value Max Grease Gun. So we got the grease gun. It does have a knurled grip right here on the handle. It appears to be a slightly deeper knurl here than it is on the bottom. We've got a pressure relief here on the top. We have a bulk loader on the side. We got a spot for our nozzle on the front, or we could optionally use the one on the top. This is a lever style, so if you pull this out, that will lock in. If you want it to go back in, you just press that button and it'll drop in. It looks like they did include a little bit of grease in there, so you don't have to worry as much about priming it. And what feels like a nice thick rubber seal on the bottom. So it does come with a flexible hose that says that this is good for 10,000 PSI. And we've got a couple of solid pipes in the event that we want to just be able to push this thing on and pull the trigger. It comes with three nozzles. This one actually has a cap on it. So these are both for Zerks and this is a precision nozzle. Now you can see these do come loose. I can just grab that and spin it by hand. So you want to make sure these are nice and tight whenever you go to actually use it. I'm going to use a Zerk nozzle and I'm going to use the flexible hose. So that is what it's going to look like for me. So this is what I'm going to be using, Mobile SHC 220. Now there is a little bit of an air gap in there and I want to try to release that. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to allow the piston to go in just a little bit. You got to be real careful if you're going to try this because it could just shoot all the grease right out. There we go. So it's kind of a waste, but I will find a use for it. Right. If you have air in there, it's just going to, you'll be pumping away and it won't be doing anything because it's not actually moving anything. It's just pushing air. Now we can push this guy in, take off our ring. I'm gonna hold this button down and pop. There you go. We can see it coming out the other side, so we know we are primed. So the first thing is we want to wipe down that zerk, make sure that we're not pushing anything into it. Put that guy on. And with this one, you can actually see grease coming out the sides. Now, if you never used one of these things before, if you grab it and you just try to pull it, it's not gonna pull off. You gotta grab it and you gotta kind of bend it to the side and it falls right off. But yeah, that works exactly how I expected. That is a very nice grease gun.